Well, my friends, now that you've had opportunity to look at what a linear regression is and to examine the linear regression model, it is important that we take just a moment to review the assumptions that are made regarding multiple linear regression. Now, multiple linear regression requires several conditions, and I'm going to outline these and then discuss each of them with you. The first of these, that only relevant variables are included, the next is that a linear relationship is required. All variables are, must be normally distributed, and homoscedasticity is assumed. It's an awesome word. We most of us prefer homogeneity of variance. These assumptions relate directly to the validity of the research findings. So let's look at each of these assumptions and see what we might discover about it. Only relevant variables are included. I believe that almost goes without saying. Variables can be modeled to predict other variables without regard to their relevancy. That happens all the time. For example, the cost of individual Christmas gifts and shoe size could be modeled to predict the academic GPA of entering college freshmen. Uh, what would be the purpose of, of such research? What would it mean? Christmas gifts and their cost and shoe size how in the world would they ever relate to GPA? I, I laugh sometimes because you see this going on all the time with the media. I mean, they'll take a, a hedgehog somewhere, a groundhog, or a, or a flying squirrel, or, or anything else, and they'll say, well, when a flying squirrel can jump from this limb to that limb and not see its shadow, then the stock market's going to go up. Uh, I don't know. It seems to me that they might be... Uh, might be uh, violating the first assumption that only relevant variables are included. Now, this also means that you don't have uh, collinearity. In other words, these if, if one variable is the same as the other variable, just under a different wrapper, then you, in fact, don't have two variables. You only have one. We discussed this earlier in some of the other videos. Uh, assumption two is that a linear relationship is required. Obviously, linear regression is about linear modeling. Linear infers a linear relationship between the independent variables and the dependent variables. That just goes without saying. Now, one of the neat things is that our correlation coefficients will let us know if we have a linear relationship or not. If you, if you will recall, the Pearson R tells us uh, if we have a linear relationship, that's what it examines, a linear correlation. So, you know, the Pearson R is going to continue to be important. Uh, the third assumption is that all variables are normally distributed. Normality is very important in multiple linear regression. Uh, the condition may be hard to meet, however, by the uh, uh, data sets that you, you extract and that you analyze. Uh, there, there are many researchers that say that the, the process is considered robust even if you, you don't meet the, this assumption. If the data sets do not contain extreme outliers, then the, the uh, research that you've done may in fact be robust. And guys, this is kind of an approach when you have assumptions. If you have an assumption that is not met, then, then declare that it's not met, then go out and find a researcher that says that the process is still robust. Let me tell you, it doesn't matter what you look for, there's a researcher out there somewhere that says it's going to be okay. Pretty interesting. Uh, assumption four. Now, I, I love this word. Homoscedasticity is assumed. Now, homoscedasticity is often called homogeneity of variance. Those of us with terrible Texas accents, uh, find it easier to say homogeneity of variance than we do homoscedasticity. Now, what homogeneity of variance assumes is that the variance across all of the little data, data sets, all of the variables are the same. In other words, you have this. I want you to notice that you have curves that are, are spread equally. Their variance is the same. That means their standard deviations are the same and they look alike. So when you have homogeneity of variance, your variables look like this. They're the same width. Now, if you don't have homogeneity of variance or homoscedasticity is violated, 
Then you have a situation like this. You may have a very narrow curve. You may have a medium curve. You may have a big fat curve. I, I, I resemble that remark. I don't know. You may have a broad curve. No, I still resemble that mark. Well, you may have a wide. I better give up. Okay, but in other words, if you have homogeneity of variance, your curves are all the same, and if you don't have homogeneity of variance, you, you have a, a little problem that you're measuring curves that are not the same width. Now, how did we do? We wanted to give you the assumptions for multiple linear regression. Uh, only relevant variables are included. A linear relationship is required. All variables are normally di distributed. Homoscedasticity is assumed. In other words, you have homogeneity of variance. And these assumptions relate directly to the validity of your research findings. Now, when you don't meet an assumption, I want to remind you that you would, you would declare that and then you go find a researcher that says your study is still robust, even if it doesn't meet that assumption. But what you're doing is you're declaring that you didn't meet it and leaving the findings of your research in the hands of the informed reader. Well, may the odds be ever in your favor. And, of course, I still, I still like uh, the old Vulcan thing, you know, but, but, but may the odds be ever in your favor. I'm trying to be cool. Last night, I was uh, watching television in the Turner Classic Movies, and they were, that's what old folks do, and they were talking about how cool Steve McQueen was in a movie because he was, he was man enough that, that when the movie, when they woke him up, you know, and it's filmed, he's in these old dorky-looking pajamas, and he gets up, and it takes him about 30 minutes to get his body moving, and that really brought hope to me. Because my pajamas are dorkier looking than his were, and it takes me more than 30 minutes to get moving in the morning. Must be cool. May the odds be ever in your favor. May the odds be ever in my favor. You have a good day. This is the dog signing off.